The next time you need an impressive dessert, but you don't want to put a lot of effort into it, you have to try this easy flourless chocolate cake. All you need is five simple ingredients to make this gluten-free dessert, and it tastes totally rich and decadent. It's perfect for any holiday, and I'll also show you a few tricks for making it lower in fat or dairy-free if you have any guests with special dietary needs. To get started, preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease an 8-inch springform pan. Next, you'll need to melt together a half cup or one stick of butter and four ounces of dark chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate chips for this, which are 67% dark chocolate, but you can use darker or sweeter chocolate depending on what you have on hand. I'll share a few tips for making substitutions later in this video if you'd like to make this dairy-free or use unsweetened baking chocolate instead. You can melt this together in a microwave if you like, but I like to make a double boiler on the stove by filling a small saucepan with about one inch of water. Bring that to a boil and place a heat-safe bowl on top of the pan that is large enough to cover the opening. The butter and chocolate will gently melt from the heat of the boiling water below. Now that it's melted, set it aside to cool while you mix together the other ingredients. In a large bowl, add one cup of coconut sugar. If you're using semi-sweet chocolate chips or you have white or brown sugar on hand instead, you can cut back the amount of sugar you use to only three quarters of a cup. Next, you'll need four large eggs, and a quarter cup of cacao or cocoa powder. Now mix it all together until the batter looks smooth. Once the melted chocolate mixture is cool enough to handle, you can add that to the batter and stir well. Now it's ready to pour into the greased springform pan. Bake this flourless chocolate cake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until the center looks firm, about 20 to 22 minutes. Remove it from the oven and let it cool completely. Sometimes I'll let it cool in the fridge if I want this to be ready to serve in just a few hours. Or you can make this up to two days in advance and keep it tightly covered in the fridge if you want to plan ahead. Once it's cool, it's ready to slice and serve. This chocolate cake is rich and decadent, so a little slice goes a long way. I like to serve it with some shaved dark chocolate on top and with a few fresh raspberries. Now let's talk about the substitutions that you can make in this recipe. I've been making this cake for over 10 years, so I've experimented with it quite a bit. If you want to make a dairy-free dessert, you can replace the stick of butter with a third cup of melted coconut oil. If you don't want your cake to have a coconut flavor, be sure to use refined coconut oil in this case so it will have zero coconut taste. If you'd like to lower the fat content, you can also replace the butter with just a quarter cup of coconut oil and a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. I prefer using pumpkin puree rather than applesauce or mashed banana because it doesn't add any flavor to this chocolate cake. If you would prefer a naturally sweetened cake, you can also use four ounces of unsweetened baking chocolate instead of the dark chocolate and in that case, you will use three quarters of a cup of honey rather than the coconut sugar. I haven't had much luck replacing the eggs in this recipe, so if you'd like to make a vegan chocolate cake, I do have you covered with some other recipes over on my website. I hope you'll enjoy this flourless chocolate cake recipe soon, and be sure to check out my other videos here for more fast and easy real food recipes.